How's everyone doing? I am Rich Chalenza. Thanks for checking out the Rich Chalenza Show. So what I think I'm going to call this podcast, not positive yet, is the more I experimented, the more creative I became. And I'm always talking about experimenting on my videos and podcasts, especially when it comes to fitness and just living a certain lifestyle and trying to constantly learn and understand things are going to evolve And uh, I think a lot of people get set in their ways where they just kind of become a dinosaur and become outdated, which if that's your choice, there's nothing wrong with that either. But what I'm saying is if you are a creative person and you like to create, I think experimenting is really the way to go. At least for me, it was. You might just want to try it. Now, I don't have the answers for everybody. You can maybe just sit in one place and be creative for the rest of your goddamn life. That's wonderful. I found myself, if I'm kind of bogged down in one place, after a while, I kind of fall into a loop. I need action. I need to go. And I really, really realized this when I was traveling a ton. So for like 10 years, I traveled. My creativity was off the chart as far as just even thinking differently because I was constantly in a different city, state, even country at times. So you're you're just... It's almost like um, it's almost like just living in a different world because uh, you kind of are to a certain degree. We're in the same world, but a totally different culture. Kind of, you know, a lot. I don't care if I go from, you know, some are similar. If you take Boston and New York, but really they're so different. If I if I'm in Chicago, if I'm in California, if I'm in Calgary, if I'm in Halifax, Canada, I'm in Edmonton. All of a sudden I'm in Alaska. It's 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 going crazy in my mind because for one it's just a different survival mode. I'm not like I'm like in the wilderness or some shit like that, but you've got to get there. You got to figure things out. The weather changes. You're changing your wardrobe. You're eating a lot of times. What you're eating changes. The people you're around are different, even if they speak a lot of different uh, different languages. The culture, uh, some is very complicated and fast, you know, type city lifestyle. Others are very slow, Southern, or it could just be slow in general. It could be parts of the Midwest. Um, so if you're somebody though, who's having maybe problems being creative. I've been there. And I I didn't realize how nuts I was about creativity until probably after I made my film, not even during. My father's obsessed. He always t- calls himself an artist. And he's always talking about creating things. He's always has to, or he has to always, if it's not his garden, he's creating something in his house. If it's not there, it could even be in his closet. Or he's working on a car. He's always creating things and what I was always like is like I'm not creative I'm not I'm nothing like that but the reality is I'm very much like that but I wasn't like what he was like I mean we both like fashion but I'm not a green thumb he loves being outdoors he even likes saving fishing or I think he used to like hunting or you know he is kind of an outdoors guy he also likes construction electricity he can even paint you know he's that dude I'm not I'm really on the other end of that. I like kind of more or less safe photography to a certain degree. I liked filming, make films. I liked writing books, which kind of made no sense for either one of us, but I did. I read a couple books and I like, um, I like traveling. He hates traveling. And, you know, I like things, I guess. The computer and the iPhone was the best thing that ever happened to me because I could create and write. I never looked at myself as a writer because I hated school so much. The things I, the thing I realized though, I was writing and learning a lot of things that I despised. Once I realized that I can write about what I want to write about, not what the school or say even if you took a journalism class, they're telling you to write about, about certain subject matters or you got to go research again things I wasn't interested in. I wrote screenplays because I wanted to break out into the make believe world. I already knew the world that I lived in, and I said, hey, I want to write about things that are. You know, it's kind of like being in a dream world. So I can write about different characters and people and locations. And because I was always obsessed with film, and I felt like film took me to another time and place when I watched it mentally. And I escaped where I was, even if I liked where I was. I just liked the escape, if that makes sense. But creativity wise, back to that. So, you know, I, I got a YouTube channel and a podcast, and then I'm always trying to figure out, like, what's, what's working for me, what isn't. You look at all your analytics, and I'm always like, oh, man, you know, this, this, 
This seems to be working as far as YouTube, but it didn't work for the podcast. Or this looks better for the podcast. These videos are not doing very well. It's, uh, or sometimes they both do okay. But I always think, man, I'm going to run out of subject matters. Do I got to... Um, my video, are they going to burnt out? Uh, and then when I'm not consistent with my videos, people seem to lose interest. Then when I'm doing a lot of videos of the same thing, I'm losing interest. Should I have a co-host more often? I did podcasts with other people for like a couple months and I liked it, but then I was like, mm, this is kind of daunting. It's not as fun as I thought it was going to be. Always learning. Uh, again, creativity wise, I was learning and I was being creative, but during all this, just even recently, I realized this. I told my girlfriend, I've told my friends, because we kind of get stuck doing the same, going to the same places. I felt myself, especially even working out, because I've always worked in, worked out in different gyms, but during the pandemic, there's not many gyms open, but my style gym. I just felt like it was just like it was getting boring. And I was dying almost. It sounds weird, like when I can't create certain things now at this point in time in my life, um, or new things. And I still get caught in a loop talking about the same shit. I don't want to do that. But I think we are who we are. We only know what we know. But I've been hitting all different coffee shops again. Even ones locally. I do that when I travel. I love going to new coffee shops, new Italian restaurants. I'm usually in all different style malls. But I love visiting different communities, cities and states. But I usually stay near a little Italy. Just because I feel more comfortable there. But now I have been stuck Basically, like a lot of people during the pandemic, I went to Chicago once, but I've been in central Florida, now Orlando, for basically nine months. And I've never spent this much time, even in Florida, throughout my entire life, I think, for the most part. Because I always, even when I was younger, I traveled, even when I had kids, or I'd be going to different parts of Florida or Georgia, all over the place. And I said, oh my God, I may have to just start experimenting locally and see what happens from a creative perspective. Because it's not just about, yeah, it's just not about being creative. When I travel, why or why can't I learn how to build creativity or that like mindset locally? Because I know what works for me and what doesn't. So I started hitting a lot of different restaurants that I never hit before. And I've lived here since I was 18. I've been coming to Orlando since I was five. So I have blanketed, or at least I thought I did. Even locally, again, a bunch of coffee houses I've been going to, even if it's with other people talking. And a different environment, again, different people, and all of a sudden, I just start I just start getting stimulated. Usually, I would just go, if I was in Orlando, if I wasn't traveling, say Barnes & Noble, Starbucks, and maybe a local, you know, maybe Italian coffee shop or two. But it was the same places. Now, I'm trying to go everywhere different for the most part. Some places I'll still go to get my favorite Italian restaurants or pizza and some, you know, if I'm in a pinch, I'll go to certain places that I used to go to. But again, the more I'm realizing, experimenting and trying different things, it stimulates me not only, you know, myself because now I'm trying a different coffee house, I'm trying maybe a different style coffee. I'm also, when in there working on stuff, I'm thinking differently. I'm paying attention. I don't know what that is, but you may be somebody... If you're stuck, you know, you're not really creating the way you want or you want to become more creative, create like a different lifestyle too. Just, it doesn't mean you have to go out and change your wardrobe or change the way you look or anything. I'm just saying your mind, it's kind of like getting in shape again for me because I want to experiment all the time. And as much as I talk sometimes about, hey, let's learn, let's change, let's Let's um, experiment. I'm not doing it. I'm talking about it, but I'm not living it. So to go live it for me is what really works. And I almost catch myself falling in these ruts where I'm like, why? You know, you're getting bogged down. You're not being creative or you're just kind of thinking of the same shit. I'm like, oh my God, because my life, I keep doing the same shit. How am I going to become more creative if I'm not around different people, say, or researching different videos or... Um, listening to different style podcasts or trying different workouts or going back to different gyms. That's the one thing I talk about that has always helped me throughout my life is I never really got that bored working out because I always went to a different gym. It was like a different experience. It'd be like you going to a different restaurant or if you go to a different mall or if you went to different wherever, um, every time you go, you know, you don't, you don't know the equipment. You don't know how it works. You don't know the layout of the gym. And everyone's like, doesn't that aggravate you that you don't even know like 
what equipment's where and what. I go, no, because that's the journey. That's what's keeping my mind stimulated. Plus, they may have different equipment. Uh, they may have a pool. Some may not. Some may have you know, a track on it. There's, others don't. Some have, again, who knows what they have. Some can have a smoothie spot inside. Some don't. Some, some just have a, you know, a boot camp. Some don't. Some are CrossFit. I think you get the point that. But every time I go in there, it's a different journey. You also may consider, from a creative standpoint, everywhere you go is a different journey. And... You know, I just thought I would do a video on this because I think a lot of people get stuck regardless if you've created before or you want to start creating now and you're just kind of at that point like, man, I, 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 don't, I can't create anything. I, I'm just stuck. And sometimes we give ourselves the past. We're like, oh, you know what? It'll come in a week, two weeks. You know what? I want to, I want to do this. I want to write a book. I don't know what to write about, right? I get it. Okay. It never comes. I want to do this. Uh, I want to, like say me, I want to create a program. Um, you may want to create something like that. You may want to, I don't know, maybe even start a business, start thinking about it, but you don't know what to do. But you never seem to get, get it kind of going. But if you look at a lot of things you're doing in your life, you're probably, again, doing the same thing over and over again. Maybe just switching it up by entirely switching it up sometimes. I'm telling you, going to different places, again, meeting different people, it's going to stimulate your mind differently. But you, I believe, have to do a lot of it not just a one-off. It's not like saying, oh, I'm going to go to a different mall today and walk around and think about, you know, I want to start a new clothing line. Let me walk around there and look at the stores. No. Hit every goddamn mall that you never hit. Hit every curbside mall you never hit. Start walking in boutiques. I'm just saying, start engulfing yourself. Start going and looking at fabrics, okay? Start meeting and talking with different designers, maybe. Start watching YouTube on how to create your own clothing line. I don't care if it's t-shirts. Keep doing shit that keeps heading you towards where you want to go, but doing things differently. Because if you've probably already researched and done whatever you've done and it's still not moving forward, you're just not either, you know what I mean, you don't have the, uh, I guess, the drive, or you're just, it's not clicking yet. You haven't created what you want. But again, by keep moving forward and experimenting with things, you're going to get that momentum, I believe, going. So I'm going to wrap it up there. If you get a chance, um, check out my website, richchalenza.com. You can find everything on there, including my YouTube channel, my programs, my books. Um, I'm actually talking myself about maybe doing another clothing line. I go back and forth with it. But anyways, I'm also on LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. All right? Take care, and I wish you nothing but the best.